Roundtable Media Group presents the Carla Critical Show. She's smart. She's sassy. And she doesn't sugarcoat it. Hello, friends I haven't met. I'm Carla Critical, and I wear red from head to toe so you don't have to. You may not know this yet, but Mr. Brian Williams of the Nightly News is now passing stories on to me because he's so busy and so handsome and so busy being handsome. I love you, Brian. Tonight, Brian has asked me to look into the reasons why a growing number of American men, and surprisingly, not a few women, are expressing hatred toward women who breastfeed in public. All right, let's set the scene. You are getting your oil changed, or perhaps you're shopping, and you see a woman in a plastic chair over in the corner breastfeeding her child. You are outraged. This is public indecency, you say. Shame, 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 shame. The next thing you know, they'll be putting National Geographics in public libraries. Take a look at this. Nursing mothers are banding together, upset at what happened to Michelle Hickman in Texas. She claims Houston Target workers bullied her for breastfeeding her baby while shopping and then asking her to move to a private location. I definitely am not going to go nurse my baby in a bathroom. Would you want to eat your lunch in a bathroom sitting on a toilet? Friends I haven't met, she was completely covered with a blanket. Nothing was showing. And yet, a celebrity can walk down the red carpet dressed like this, and not a complaint will be heard. Hey! <laughs> and now I'd like to go over to my friend, Nancy McNice Nice. She's so nice, you say it twice. Nancy? Hi, Carla. Would you like a cookie? No, Nancy, I don't want a cookie. Do you need a ride anywhere? No, I don't need a ride anywhere. Do you need a kidney? I have two. No, Nancy, I don't need a kidney. Mine are working fine. Now, I'd like to talk to you about breastfeeding. I just make valentines for everyone on my block. We're talking about public breastfeeding, Nancy. Oh! <laughs> nice to talk about in front of other people? Mmm, these are snickerdoodles, my favorite cookie. Don't you just love the word snickerdoodle? Makes me laugh every time. <laughs> okay, yes Nancy, but did you ever find that you needed to feed your crying baby in public? Well sure Carla, of course I did. I mean I'm a busy woman like you. So, what did you do? Oh, well, Carla, I designed and sewed my own personal portable breastfeeding tent, which fits in this backpack and can be set up in under 20 minutes, no matter where you are. It's super nice. I even sell them in my Etsy shop online. You could order one too, Carla. Thank you, Nancy McNice Nice. Get back to your cookies. <sighs> what can I say? I met her in a book club that I got kicked out of. I love the woman, but she shits rose petals. But I think the main problem, it seems, is that the average American man can't seem to make a distinction in his little pea brain between these two images. Well, friends I haven't met, let me show you what I think constitutes public indecency. <laughs> Yes, Carla may be critical, but I never offer a well-researched and brilliantly delivered critique without offering a few suggestions. So here they are. First of all, get over yourselves that breastfeeding a child is some kind of sex act. These women are not trying to tempt you with their evil bodies. Read a biology book and learn something. Next, if the word breastfeeding is what triggers you, try this. Get rid of the breast part and concentrate on feeding. If you can't do that, perhaps substitute the words child nourishment or infant sustenance. And finally, if none of that works, just turn your head. Just don't look. Look away. Walk away. 
walk on. That's what I have to do when I see you walk by me like this. <laughs> see you next time, friends I haven't met yet. Until then, be smart out there because so many, many aren't. <laughs>